Prashad is with the Purnima Deva Christmas Hymns. Um, next, we have our special guest speaker for tonight. Her name is Denise, and she's coming from DMC, and she has a special message for all the kids tonight. So please give a big round of applause to Denise. <laughs>
for care that they do. I like to give the definition of a gift. A gift is something voluntarily, without payment in return, as to show favor towards someone. It's also a present, something bestowed or acquired without any particular effort by the recipient or without its being earned. And I looked at the word gift. I mean, it sounds pretty elementary. And it also is a synonym of present. And a present is also a gift. It's a benefaction, a benevolence, a boon, a bounty, a compliment, a donation, an endowment, a favor, gifting, giveaway, a goodie, a grant, a gratuity, a handout. And so just in my study, and I said, well, I'm going to, you know, just wanted to share that. Amen. But I have the most perfect, the most excellent, the most magnificent, the most stupendous, the most wonderful, awesome gift in mind that we all can participate in giving. This gift that can't be bought, and thank God, not even stolen. You don't have to compromise to receive. In other words, you don't have to do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable to receive this gift. Because we all, oftentimes we know that people that are bringing gifts, they have ulterior motives in mind. Mm -hmm. But with this gift, there's no, there is a string attached. I'm going to talk about that a little bit further. The free gift or present I'm talking about is the free gift of salvation. In Romans 6 and 23, the scripture states, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift or the present of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I also looked under another uh, translation of the new, it's called the New Living Translation, another Bible that I use. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift or present of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is only one requirement needed to receive this free gift. John 3.16 tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3 and 17 states, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn, to, I'm sorry, to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. More scripture. Romans 10 and 8. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word, the word of faith which we preach. Romans 10 and 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. Romans 10 and 10, for with the heart one believes into righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame, but there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the, the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. And for whoever calls on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. So you see, that's the free gift that I want to talk about. It doesn't cost anything but just, just as the scriptures say, just acknowledging that he is the son of God. And what I want to just give everybody, just remind you of all the gift giving and everything that you do. Remember the true reason for the season. And one, a couple more things. In the 10th ch chapter of Matthew, Jesus gave his disciples a charge. When you get a chance, I encourage you to read it. But the very last sentence in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, reads, As we have freely received this most wonderful gift, freely give. The gift of salvation, the gift of eternal life. So everybody within the sound of my voice, every man, every woman, and every child, I'm giving everybody a charge tonight. And that charge is that we go out and we present to the world our gift. Amen. Amen.